your brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. Okay, it is time for another Throwback Thursday, and today is my birthday. Well, at least it's the day that this video gets launched is my birthday. So I figured to celebrate my birthday, I'll, I'll be turning 38 on April 15. Uh, I figure I'd go with a game that was a huge milestone for me growing up, as I'm sure it was for a lot of others, Super Mario Brothers. And this was actually requested by Swimming Upstream Productions. And I figure this is a good day to, to, to play this. I was uh, growing up, I had an Atari for... Um, it was actually the... So the year I started kindergarten, 88. Earlier that year, for my birthday, I uh, got an Atari for... For my birthday, so 88, that, um... Shit, you know, like, I'm getting old here. And obviously I'm getting older as <laughs> another year, uh, another year goes by here, so... Just continuing to get older, I mean, shit, I fucking launched my YouTube channel when I was 24. Oh, how things have changed. But anyway, um... So... When I was in kindergarten, it was the first time I had played Nintendo. My buddy Kurt had a Nintendo. <clears throat> My first time playing an NES was with an NES Advantage, actually. I hadn't even tried the uh, the regular controls until I actually got my own Nintendo, which was my uh, kindergarten graduation present. I got my own Nintendo in Super Mario Brothers, which I played ridiculously because I not only did I play it a lot at my buddy Kurt's, but I also played it a lot um, at... There was an Anna and Hope that my mom used to go to, and I would have to get dragged along to it, And but my reward for sitting through all that shit was to get to, uh, to, to play uh, Super Mario Brothers on the arcade cabinet that was available. I know I could skip ahead up top, but, you know, what's the fun in that? Anyway, so, that w I have a lot of memories of, uh, of grabbing flowers for no reason. Now, I have a lot of memories of those, um, you know, those, th th I guess, building block moments of playing Mario when, uh, my, you know, my mom dragged me out shopping, and, you know, my friend's house. There I go, I made a little, like, castle design. Alternating bricks. That was not even my intention originally, uh, as it started, but as I started to hit the blocks, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna roll with that. Kind of an OCD thing. And I'm not gonna warp either. Oh, shit! I almost died. <laughs> I almost died. The luck of the Irish, I guess. But, you know what, I'll make up for that later on by fucking up where I, in a spot where I really shouldn't. I mean, right there I almost did, but it, it's gonna turn around on me. There'll be... There'll be some spot where I'll... have the opposite uh, end of the luck spectrum. Slow down there, sailor. You know, the funny thing about Mario is the, you know, there's only, uh, you know, you, you hear this overworld music way more than anything else. It's, the vast majority of the stages are, are, are that classic theme, and I've been playing this game now for, what, 33 years now? And I'm still not even remotely tired of it. And it's not only this game, either. Obviously, you hear that song in a lot of places. You know, everybody in, 
in the world pretty much knows the, the Mario uh, theme. This is in another castle. Thank you for saving my life, but you know, uh, yeah, you, you didn't save the right life. But in the manual, I know that they do say that you know your mission is to save all the rest of the uh, the other, you know, all the all the toads. I think they call them. Is it mushroom retainer? In the in the manual that they refer to him as, it's some shit like that. You know they call him something, you know, something else. I always try to hit this block even though it's kind of, uh, it's a, it, it, uh, first I'm gonna kill him. You know what, fuck this. I'm just gonna be wasting too much time. I try, always try to hit that block. It's another, you know, OCD thing. I know that that's a, there's a coin in that box. Now we go underwater. You know, one thing Mario has over Sonic is that he can, he has unlimited lung capacity. You know, I wonder if he's immune to drowning or if it's, if, or if it's strictly, you know, like, does he have a set of gills too? Or is it like, you know, if you try to strangle him, it wouldn't work. Shit, I almost, uh, got a little too big for my britches there. I kind of wish that they had, um, you know, they didn't do the repeats, that they had designed another water stage. <clears throat> the closest thing to it is, <clears throat> there's, I think in world, uh, I want to say five, there's a pipe that leads you down to, uh, like a, an alternate route, but instead of uh, an underground segment like they do in mo like throughout the rest of the game it's you know a water uh, segment it's very short and then of course at the end of the game uh, in the final castle there's an underwater oh shit that was my first hit I'm gonna go into this castle with, uh, Small Mario. You know, the thing about this game is you can only take the one hit when you have, when you're Super Mario or Fire Mario, you're, you're, you go right back to regular Mario in one hit, and, you know, it's, oh, shit, I, I got overzealous there. I should have waited for that Padobo or whatever it's called. I think it, it, I think that's what it is. Oh, Padobo. It's something like that. Anyway, um, you know, in, in Mario 3, when you have Fire Mario or Raccoon Mario, 
you take a hit and you go back to Super Mario, so you get extra hit. But I think this game, if you had, you know, the the ability to, you know, ha take that extra hit and go from Fire, Fire Mario back to Super Mario, it'd be too easy, or, or not too easy, but it'd be too much of a handicap. I think that for the game, as for the difficulty that it is, taking only two hits maximum per stage, not counting, you know, gaining other power-ups in the, you know, in the meanwhile, uh, you know, I think that's the right setting. Of course, when I'm playing and I take the hit and fall to regular Mario, I, you know, I wish that I could have remained Super Mario. Now, the, I always get confused about the World 3 um, extra life that sits in on this bridge. I think you can only get this if you take the warp zone. If you take the warp zone here. Right about here. Yeah, it's not over here. I think it's some kind of, you know, you have to do something in particular, and I think it's the warp zone. I think you have to take the warp zone from World 1. Uh, to World 3 to make that happen. I think I just missed the vine. Yeah, I did. And the game is, you know, generous with its power-up, so it's not like, you know, if you... If you get hit and you're back to regular Mario, you're not gonna find another power-up. Of course, unless you're talking about the castles. There's, you know, they, they, they often give you one at the beginning, and that's it. Or in some cases, not at all. matter if it was a if it was a fire flower what would I have bothered taking it for no. yeah I've played it a million times in my life but I don't have it memorized used to be, I used to remember everything. You know, when I was a kid, my, I used to, um, I, I, I was a fucking sponge. I remembered, su and I mostly remembered such stupid shit. But of course, as a kid, what else do you have to go by, you know? I mean, aside from your schoolwork and everything, uh, you know, I would retain most random stuff. My grandmother is, you know, mo basically who I inherited that from, I think, because she has the memory of an elephant. But there was a lot of weird random details, like I remember what day certain things happened, stuff like that. <clears throat> Nowadays, I'm, I mean, I, I still, I retain a lot of stuff that, from a long time ago, but, uh, you know, short-term memory? You know, I, I couldn't, I could tell you, you know, what freaking shirt I was wearing on a particular day, but I couldn't, you know, from five years ago, but not, um, not what I had for breakfast this morning. But, you know, our brains are basically hard drives. And 
Eventually they get filled up with a lot of clutter. I just wish I could go in there and delete some shit. Make room for something that I... that I want to remember. Three down, five to go. Thank you, but it's always, you know, people are full of shit when they say, you know, they give you a compliment or they make it sound something, you know, the conversation sound positive and then they add, but why am I trying to like do go on my way to outrun the spinies? I'm, I have a fucking fire flower. If I were, you know, regular Mario or or Super Mario even, I probably would be more inclined to try to outrun everything, but... Otherwise, why? But, um, going back to <clears throat> my, you know, playing this game in the arcade, well, not in the arcade, but, you know, the cabinet that gave you the, uh, I think, I think you had a time limit. But, uh, like, of how long you could play the game before it just told you to go fuck off, but, <clears throat> I remember, uh, I don't really remember this one, but... My grandmother told me that she had me, you know, the same grandmother that has the good memory, my maternal grandmother. She had, she was the one that was, uh, take, that, that had me out at the end, Hope. And she was watching, uh, what am I doing? I'm not gonna take the warp zone. I might go on autopilot over here. Um, there was, I guess it was like me and another kid. No, it was... <clears throat> Alright, so I'm like about five years old, and and I'm playing the game, and this kid who's a little bit older than me, probably like 10 or 11, uh, he's he gets in line basically behind me, and my grandmother tells him, you know, he's only five, so you, don't, you probably won't have to wait too long. Which makes me think now that I don't think there was a time limit, it was just... Whatever. Anyway, so after a little while of me playing the game and getting <laughs> getting uh, some decent progress, he, he tells my grandmother, oh, well, "Geez, this kid's better than I am." I don't remember that particular. Well, for one thing, I was probably so freaking concentrating on the game, I did not hear that conversation even happen at the time. I'm like. uh... You know, I zone, I, I, I zone everything else out. What Mario's gonna do with all these coins? I mean, I guess buy extra lives. Who's selling these extra lives? What the hell was that? Well, I just had a major glitch out. Was that not bullshit? I'm afraid to jump on that thing. Like I'm I'm gonna try to just scale over it completely. Yeah, fuck that. I mean I'm 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 sure that I would have landed on it, but 
I don't want to either. It's it's one of those things like being not really superstitious. Uh, no, I want to go down here. This is the fucking. Oh no, I went the wrong way. It's up and then down. I'm just flabbergasted by that, by that whole, um, you know, falling through the, 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 the platform. Oh, and of course I lose Super Mario, uh, at, like, the heart. Alright, there we go. That Bowser is definitely more difficult than the, than the fifth world Bowser. You have Padobos and, and Fire Sticks. It's not this one, is it? With that with that ridiculous hammer brother or is it five two? I'm not gonna go down any pipes because I know that there's a pipe leading up to that one. See this is like Alright, yeah, this isn't this isn't the stage. It, it's it's five two. There's a pain in the ass, Hammer Brother. Who's on the steps, and... Come on, is there not a power-up in this fucking stage? Shit. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to be going up against him as regular Mario. I must have missed some hidden one or something. Alright. Oh no, all right. I get I get this. All right, so not not a big deal. I'll just sacrifice myself. And here's the underwater level that I was talking about, or the underwater segment. Ow, ow, ow. But you see, that's how it's a fart in the wind. There it goes. There would be Hammer Brothers here, too. Yeah, aside from... Aside from, uh... Aside from Bowser, you know, he's... And, the, and really just the later Bowsers. Um, with the hammers and the... You know, they got the one that has the... I think it's just the last one that has the hammer and the fire. But, um... Oop. You know, the Hammer Brothers are probably the biggest pain in the ass in the game. Really, just the, um, not so much the ones that are on those platforms, it's the, the ones later on that are on their own, just standing in front of the regular, uh, ass. Alright, so this is the repeat of 3-1 with the Bullet Bills. <clears throat> It got late in production, it's like, ah, shit, what do we do? Let's just, uh, repeat a stage with some bullet bills. They do, you know, they do this, they do... World... 7, 2, and 7, 3 are repeats as well. Just a little bit different, I think the, you know... Yeah, 7-2 is a repeat of 2-2, two, two, and 7-3 is a repeat of 2-3. Yeah, and they also shrunk the platforms. Oh, Stay alive, though! Alright. Um, yeah, they made the fish faster, and... Alright, well, 
I'm not going for that mushroom at the beginning of this one, <laughs> because that fire stick is hell on wheels. Not letting this Podobo take me down again. Yeah, that would have been... That would have been something. It wouldn't have worked. I don't know if I've successfully pulled that one off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I got all panicky with the fire that was coming. See, it wouldn't have mattered. Even if I would have gotten the one up, uh, the, the mushroom. I'll stay up. I always find myself going, taking the down route. Oh my god, again. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm like, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm concentrating too heavily on getting, uh, 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 going up above. Like, what's the difference? Alright, I'll stay down this time. Same shit, different smell. Wow, that was close. The one good thing about being small Mario is you're a smaller target, but no, uh, fire up my ass. Ugh, this stage is is a bitch today. Oh my god, I almost fucked myself again. Right. Now, the only thing that's not good about being small Mario is that you can't, uh... You know, you can't break through that upper deck up there. <laughs> Alright, well, crisis averted with this one. But I lost some precious lives. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna search for these. Uh, ugh, that was short-lived. Oh, what the hell! Should buy me some time. That was where I fucked up right there. Just looking at it is pissing me off. Nothing. I... Why well, I thought there was something there. It just I don't know. It was, it was just inviting, is what it was. Oh, I took the bait. Fuck it. I can't be. Playing stop and smell the roses. <sighs> I gotta be more careful. actually gonna lead me down. Only a few more coins I can get in a life. A life. I was saying lives and life at the same time. Thank you. 
I guess I was right on both counts. I said, oh, it's either 5-2 or or 6-2. And I was, it, was, it turns out it was both. Again, you know, I'll grab coins, but I'm not gonna go ape shit to try to collect, uh, just maximize the situation. I know I'll fuck up. And I, and I called it. I called it earlier. I said, I will fuck up in a spot that I should not. <laughs> yeah, I can't reach. I could do that, though. Fuck it. This is kind of, you know, this is the pipe world, but... I, you know, they, 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 uh... They don't really have any pipes in the next one. Uh, this next one's the snowy, uh, landscape. It's a pull of Bill one, too, I believe. Or maybe it's not. Could have sworn they were both full of Bills. Maybe I'm thinking of the damn, uh... You know, the Famicom Mario 2. Going back, like I said, about my memory. Like, jeez. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe my long-term memory is fading as well. Ah, oh, here it is. Right, right on cue. Thank you, Bullet Bill. For not making me feel like a complete insane lunatic. Maybe I still got it. Fireball throughout because these Bowsers have the hammers. Oh, here's the other repeat stage. You know, I there was so yeah. There's the castle repeat. There was the um, you know the water repeats. The castle repeat from two to five. The castle repeat from one to six. And then those, you know... Ooh, stay on board, okay. Did you get rid of these coin boxes? Okay, no. You know, I said I wasn't gonna stop and smell the roses all the time, but there's nothing but, you know, these... You know, flames from the distance. Such a cool idea to have those flames come from, uh from way afar to... Whoa! I, as soon as I jumped, too, I was like, wait a minute, that, that fireball's still there. And sure enough, I smacked it. What a waste. I mean, that would have just went right my ass sideways if... that if I was regular Mario at that point. Not that I would have been able to flame him out or anything. Uh, to, you know, I, I couldn't have killed Bowser with any kind of weaponry. Oh, God, I just... Did I really just do that? I was trying to jump over the bullet bill, like just keep my just keep myself up high, but I was way too high, and as a result, knocked that mushroom out of the way. So I I fucked myself over twice now in the last minute and a half by jumping into that fireball and then just saying I don't want that mushroom. Is there anything over here at least? I know they're always, you know, the far... Shit. There may have been one on the far... I'm, I'm always, I'm, you know, I'm hitting them these middle blocks. I know there's nothing there. There's never anything in any of those. But it's like when you lose your keys, and you're searching for them, and you, 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 know, you, you, you search your pocket like six or seven times. I know I'm ripping that off from, uh from a George Carlin bit, but that's, you know, it, it's, it's so true. It's one of those things you do. Alright, I'm not even gonna try to mess around with anything over there. 
I don't really want to mess around with this too much. Alright, I'm not letting that one get away. Just drinking water today. I know it's my birthday. Well, it's not really my birthday, that's why. Oh shit, on a cracker. Ugh. They swarmed me. This is what the, you know, what makes this stage tougher than the last one. It, they're really not so much faster, they're just so much more of them. And I want to say that these bloopers are more uh, aware that the AI on them is a little bit better. But yeah, there's definitely more fish. The cheap sheeps, uh, that is. And I think they are indeed faster. So it's pretty much a little bit of everything. I'm not going down there, I've been stuck down there before. Is it really worth six coins? No. <clears throat> Alright, so now it's the flying fish. And then the castle that was the fucking bane of my existence for so long because I could not find the combination. that you're supposed to take. It's it's more complex than... Oh, God, that... I hate when that happens. I'm on top of the fish. <sighs> Alright, I gotta be... just generally aggressive here. God damn it again! That is... Ugh. Jesus, I almost jumped right in front of that bastard. Oh, yeah, you fuck you, buddy. Not letting you live. Alright, I am ugh, about to fucking take a hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well... Uh, the good news is... This stage is really just a maze that... Just have to take the... Just go the right route. The bad news is, I have no... Um, I am small Mario going up against a, a strong Bowser. Alright, so... No, it's... It's down, middle, up. And then... Yeah, I remember trying so many freaking combinations, and it was like, I'd always forget the ones I tried. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now, because I gotta concentrate on this shit. Alright. Last world. So, yeah, this castle was a pain in the ass for me for a long time, and so was 8-2. Uh, particularly the long jump after the pipe. Like, I... It was one of those things, it's a lot like the, uh... I could've ran across this. Because this is the longest stage, it's... <clears throat> yeah, I always end up running low on time toward the end, but whatever. There's enough time to get through it. It just goes on and on. 
but I don't wanna... I don't wanna die, I don't wanna book it, because I'm running low on fucking lives and there goes one! A goddamn green Koopa Troopa, really? Ugh. So, yeah, my goal is to beat this game warpless. If I do die, get a game over. Then I'm gonna take the warp zones just to, you know, just to speed. I don't, I don't wanna. I don't wanna uh, spend. You know, uh, just a bunch of time going through the game all over again, like I did with the Puss in Boots throwback, because that game is, you know, is a lot quicker to complete. So I, you know, it didn't really bug me to go through that one twice, or three times, actually. Uh, I'm fucking with you down there. Oh, fuck! I completely froze. And let- I, I, I just panicked. I saw that paratrooper coming at me. Yeah, this isn't looking good. So I might have to beat this game. I'm, I, you know, I can't go into that with the negative thinking. I will- I will beat this. I will not die by a Goomba. I will not die by a Goomba. I could use... I got influx of coins here, though, and, uh... Get myself an, uh, an extra life. Which one was it? Still ain't sure. Oh shit! <sighs> Alright, that extra life was very much needed. First time I played this level, I was like, "What is up with this Lakitu?" I mean, uh, it wasn't only really like, "What is up with this Lakitu?" I was like, "Fuck a Lakitu!" And then I was like, "What the fuck is up with the Lakitu just hauling ass out of here?" I'm gonna squash it though. Wow, I almost let that spiny show up. So one good thing about this level is this one up right here. Because you can, if you die between here and the chip, well, not between, no, oh, not here, fuck. If you die from the spot when you collect the one up, theoretically, oh my god, I would have had three lives too, fuck. Son of a bitch fucker. If I would have, um, you know, if you get, when you get that one up, you can survive between that point and the checkpoint without, um, you know, infinitely, because you can just keep going and grabbing the... That's what I need to do. Get a little, you know, a little ahead of myself. Get a little steam. Alright. Back to freaking two lives. Alright, you did that. Oh god. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, this was it. For a long time, I was jumping over that, um, this, uh, uh, I would stand on the second brick and just try to jump as far as I could and not, of course, I wouldn't make it. I got time, I just, I want to try to get some extra lives here. <clears throat> I was <laughs> tiptoeing through the tulips on that one. Very close. I don't know what's with me and all the frickin' flower analogies. I said, you know, I, I kept saying stopping to smell the roses, and I'm just talking about tiptoeing through the fucking tulips. Alright, now here's Hammer Brothers Central, and it doesn't help that I'm gonna be fucking small now. It's like I'd have that extra blanket of security. more intimidating than the than the same blocks from 81 because you know if you drop down you're not going anywhere but straight down you know it's a the, the blocks go from top to bottom whatever all right i just i have a fire flower i'm at a such i have definitely have such an advantage right now just don't fuck things up this will help with the um, with the underwater segment, it'll help against the Hammer Brother right before Bowser, and you know, of course, with Bowser himself. All right, I'm, so I'm just being very cautious here. Oh, these fucking cheap sheeps that like to sneak up on me. bother trying to kill this thing. Like, you know, shit or get off the pot here, Blooper. Yeah, right, get off the pot. I felt like if I would have just gone for the pipe, that's when you would have charged after me, you prick. Oh, I thought that I had hit the button too late. Oh my god, that would have pissed me off. And there you have it. Princess is in this castle. Yeah, in the new quest you get, you know, just Buzzy Beals instead of Goombas. Which I, you know, after a while playing that, I, I, I start to miss the Goombas. And you, oh yeah, and you get to select a world. Well, there you have it. A blast from my past. Super Mario Brothers. One of the, you know, all, an all-time classic. 
it still it, it it it's it holds up to this day like uh like nobody's business. And with that, I will say, well, see you next time.